Hey guys, what's up? It is your buddy Keith, and we are back live in the control room of Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. This is our brand new control room in the studio. We've got a massive complex here. We just took over a big radio station that used to be the global radio headquarters for this region of the UK. Yes! And now, for your viewing pleasure, we've got a 1977 Gibson Les Paul Custom. This thing is in amazing condition. We got it from a very old guy. He had this. He had our 63 Fender Strat. And the condition on this is just phenomenal. The top looks beautiful. Very little wear to the cosmetics. The hardware, the metal hardware, obviously will have pitting and patina that you can expect on something that's 53 years old, over half a century. But the inlays look phenomenal. I'll try and darken this up here. The inlays, beautiful. Original frets. The headstock has that typical antique kind of yellowing patina to the Mother of Pearl logo and split diamond. Gibson case from the era. The two cases we see generally from this era are this style or the chainsaw. This one's a bit more convenient. It's not as bulky as the chainsaw case. And uh, yeah, I get the lighting fixed here. We've got bright studio lights directly above this thing. Uh, you can see there's no... Usually this whole region in here, the paint is just like gone. Uh, same thing with the neck. Little bit of minor wear spots, but nothing like what you usually see on these 50 plus year old Les Pauls. Tuners, original Schaller Gibson tuners. The serial number perfectly intact, not worn at all. The 06 prefix was for 77. The following year, they went to the modern uh, serial number format there. So right now it's a decal that's underneath the uh, the finish, the, the lacquer, I guess you could say. After that, they went to the stamped format that we still use pretty much to today. They've kind of changed it. I think in the past two years, they, they started putting the full year as the first two digits. But, um, I mean, for the most part, that serial number format, this is the last year ever for this style. It's never been brought back since. Even on... Uh, some some reissue stuff that I've seen floating about. Never never had it. So yeah, guys, this is this is really really cool. It sounds tremendous, and if you're looking for a vintage tobacco burst, kind of tobacco burst, kind of honey burst, a little bit of a blend in between the two, in my opinion. Um, this is the best one I've ever seen from this era. I mean, the top is just beautiful. You've got some bird's eye all throughout this maple top. Really cool build techniques back then. It's a three-piece carved maple top. And it just, it gives it a unique look, finish and feel that's just very distinct. For this era. Cool guys. Well if you're new to the channel. Click like. Click subscribe. Come join our circle of friends. We can't wait to show you more of the new studio. And the instruments we're getting in. Are just crazy. We've had some massive collections. Join our family. And I can't wait to show you. All of them. Alright. I'm going to get going. i got a lot of videos to do for you. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Hope you're safe. Everything's going okay for you during this lockdown. We'll, uh, we'll have plenty of guitar videos coming your way to keep you occupied. All right? Take it easy, everybody.